TMC Newsroom, Rich Tarani here. Thanks for watching. We're at IT Expo West 2012 in Austin, Texas on our program, Brendan Ziolo. He's a VP of Marketing at Kindsight, and uh, Brendan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rich. Great to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure, likewise, to have you. Why don't we start out uh, just talking about Kindsight and what your position is in the market and the things you provide? Okay, so Kindsight uh, builds a security platform that internet service providers or mobile operators would embed in their network and then use that platform to offer a value-added security service to their subscribers. So it basically helps the subscribers protect their mobile devices or their home network. And the beauty of it is they don't, the subscriber doesn't need to install anything but because the equipment's actually in the service provider's network. Uh, the service provider can also use our security analytics dashboard to get a view of the malware and the infected devices within their own network and then obviously take action to protect their network as well. So there are really two benefits. One is you provide a service and the second is the service is uh, available for them to see the infected computers that really could could cause all sorts of problems within the network. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it can benefit the service provider themselves by getting malicious traffic off their network. So there's obviously benefits to them from both, you know, bandwidth savings and other bad things that could happen on the service provider network. And then if they offer it as a value-added service to their subscribers, they can actually turn it into a revenue-generating opportunity for themselves as well and make money or use it to upsell other services they may have as well. And um, what's the typical price uh, that a service provider could charge? And I realize it varies by region and country, but is, is there any kind of guidance you can give us? Yeah, it, I mean, we did a, quite a bit of market research when we first launched the product and to help the service providers figure that out. And what we're finding is the price point is probably between somewhere between 295 and 395 a month. Okay. for a home network. A mobile device would be slightly less than that, probably more a dollar ninety five type thing. Would that would be mostly Android? Yeah, basically Android are the devices that are infected sure. right now mostly. Uh, the other interesting thing on a mobile network is a lot of uh, uh, PCs now or even Macs are being connected with USB dongles or tethered to a smartphone and then they are also causing infections on the oh. mobile network as well so our platform because it's sitting in the network can cover all those devices and then alert the subscribers in the way that makes sense you know if it's a computer it would be email or SMS if it's an Android smartphone it's likely an app and I suppose some of the challenges that we have or that you're seeing is uh, distributed denial of service attacks being launched from uh, infected computers within the network, right? That, that the, the, like zombie computers that have been taken over. Correct, yeah, I mean, botnets are a big problem and you know, they do use them to launch denial of service attacks. The other thing they do is they can rent them out to other cyber criminals and use them to spread spam uh, and you know, make money that way. And then the other big attack that we're seeing a lot of is identity theft where they take over the computer and then actually steal personal information. It could be your banking login information. It could be, you know, your social security number. It could be photos or other documents that you'd rather be kept private. So all of that is really what the hackers are after when they take over a device. So um, I suppose the challenge for your customer, the service providers, is that they're competing with um, products like McAfee and AVG and other others out there, Norton, et cetera. Is, how do how does that comparison play out in terms of um, how do they sell to the consumer when the consumer can download something or download software? Um, so yeah, that's that's clearly what uh, what the. Uh, current uh, market offering is. I mean, a lot of people have antivirus installed on their computers. Fewer people have that installed on their smartphones to date, but there's obviously solutions there. Now, some service providers actually resell those offerings already, and what we found that's quite effective is if they bundle the Kindsight network-based security with those client uh, security offerings into a bundle. And why that's important is it really allows them to protect their subscribers better, because the reality is antivirus isn't the complete solution. You really need something on the client and something in the network. And the service provider can capitalize on their advantage in that. They're providing the network. They're providing the connectivity. So they're the only ones who could offer a network-based component. So it really gives them a strong competitive advantage against these off-the-shelf offerings if they go to market with a bundled solution of, of the two. Now, um, there have been some fairly innovative uh, marketing strategies in the antivirus space from um, desktop based clients where they might give you uh, a free client but um, 
there are some things it can't do and you know some limited amounts of times of the day when it can scan or maybe it'll expire after a few months I mean are those kinds of things available with your service through your customers to provide their customers as well yeah I mean it's really up to the service provider how they want to roll this out they could roll this out and ask people to sign up and you know if the subscriber pays they get the service they could actually use our service and offer it to all subscribers and if they see an infected computer they could send you an alert because they would have that contact information for you and then upsell you for a way to fix the problem uh, one bundling that we've seen that's quite effective is uh, the network alerts uh, detect something or the network uh, component from Kindsight detects something, sends an alert to subscribers, uh, but the subscriber doesn't know how to deal with the problem. So that service provider then upsells them a premium technical support package where they'll log into the computer and take advantage or take care of it for the infected subscribers. So there's a lot of good upsell opportunities for the service provider as well for other security products and other offerings like premium technical support, backup, and all those types of associated services. And I, what I like about the space you're playing in is, without a doubt, it's just going to get more and more difficult for consumers to protect themselves um, in a world where more uh, commerce is moving online, banking is moving online. Um, we're going to see mobile commerce um, be a huge market within the next five years probably, and that's a whole other area that you need to protect. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we've seen the malware become quite sophisticated on Windows PCs. And, you know, a year ago, a Mac user would say, I don't need antivirus, I'm not at risk. But we've seen several attacks this year that target Macs as well. But in the mobile space, that's probably the scarier one. There's a lot more devices, and people are including more and more information on those devices. And you note mobile commerce. I mean, that's an absolute area that will need to be protected because hackers will go after it because there's lots of information you know, from loyalty programs to credit card information that's going to be on that device, so you need to protect it. So what's next for Kindsight? Uh, we're continuing to pursue the mobile space because we see a lot of growth opportunities there. We actually, in the wireline space, we didn't develop our own client application because there's a lot of existing desktop AV, but we've actually built our own mobile app for Android smartphones, uh, and we're continuing to add key functionality to it because there's the only there's not just someone taking over your device. I mean, you could lose your device. Um, you know, you need to make sure that you can find it or wipe it or lock it. I mean, there's a lot of capabilities there that are better done on the app than in the network piece. So ultimately, we wanted to offer an end-to-end -end service that the mobile operator can rebrand as their own and then roll it out to their subscribers. So continuing to add to that and make it a compelling offering for the mobile operator subscribers is really where we're headed. Awesome. Thanks for being here, Brendan. This is right. great. Great. Thank nice you very to much. Nice to see you again. Thanks for your time.